I went to the doctor, and basically, you know, me constantly being thirsty, so I asked the doctor for a glass of water. Then another one, then another one, then another one. Then I asked him why I stay so thirsty. And that's when he told me I was a diabetic. Um, I have been working at this site for two and a half years. Um, we have a large population of patients with diabetes. Um, about 1,400 patients right now that we're serving with diabetes. Um, they come from all corners of the world. We have a lot of immigrants, but we have a large African-American population and Hispanic population as well. So the message is very simple about managing diabetes. Um, what to eat, straightforward. How much to eat, very straightforward. What type of medications, what do they do? Um, why do you need an eye exam once a year? Why do you need to check your feet daily? Simple, but at the same time, it goes through every step of self-management of diabetes. Every Tuesday, we offer a diabetes education class. Um, it's from three to five, so it's about two hours and we invite patients uh, that have been diagnosed with diabetes to come to this class and learn about nutrition, uh, learn how to self-manage their diabetes, um, questions that they might have. Uh, we always have snacks for them and we have healthy snacks. We go over the nutrition value of these snacks. Um, we also do uh, finger sticks at the beginning of each class where we test everybody's uh, glu glucose for that day and we say their numbers out loud so it's sort of like everyone is expecting to hear what their numbers are and um, when people do well everyone in class claps <laughs> and when patients don't do so well that's when the conversation starts and um, patients start giving each other support and we discuss you know what's going on with the patients what's going on in your life that is stopping you from having a better um, control of your blood glucose yeah. so we we try to tailor our classes to our participants um, we try to play games uh, we use a lot of interactive uh, materials uh, roadmaps uh, questions and answers. Um, sometimes um, we bring different types of food, we read food labels, and we talk about it. So we try to make it simple. We try to deliver a simple message to patients. Oh, they, they're the best. You know, after I start coming on the regular, so they give me good pointers, tell me how to change my eating habits, stay on top of me. I'll say, excuse me, stay on top of me. And basically, they just help guide me to basically to do what I got to do, you know? That's basically eating the right things and take my insulin on time, never missing no, what you say, shots in, when I need to take it and stuff like that. So all that's good advice for me, and that's what helps me get through another day. And what I think we've done inside the organization that's really made a difference is we've begun to identify the different populations of people. So people who have had difficulty accessing care in the past, come in sicker and with both physical problems and, um, and, and problems that have resulted from a lack of access to care over long periods of time. Those people need extra effort. It's almost, we're calling it affirmative healthcare action. They need extra stuff done for them. We can't just do the same thing for everybody and, and expect to reduce the gap. So we have models now in diabetes specifically where we've been able to take a, a, a group of patients, actually all of our diabetic patients, and we know that when they enter our care, that the African-American and Latino patients have much higher levels of A1C than the white patients who enter our care. And we've been able to bring those lines together completely through this model of identifying people who come in the sickest, doing more for them, you know, developing exquisite care systems that recognize that you need to catch, help people catch up, and then bring them all to sort of the same level of achievement in terms of outcomes. The class is fantastic because I'm getting my message to five, eight, ten people all at once in one room. And it makes me feel that I am delivering a message to a broad group of people that really need this help. Um, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. C1, I'll say my one a, uh, A1C at one time was 1100, but now it's down to like 7.9.
So basically, um, that's a great improvement. And right now, it's like I can even get it lower. Constantly just, you know, take my insulin on the regular. So basically, um, I stay on top of them things like that. So when I know when I need to take it, it's benefiting, and it helps me just stay on top of what I need to do.